Hey guys, um, so today I just wanted to demonstrate a um, program I've been working on called Scrabble Cheater. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty awesome name, hey? Um, anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically it reads in a uh, text file that's a dictionary file, um, so just English words, uh, into the program. It sets them into an SQL map um, and also calculates the um, the point value of that word that is associated with the entry in the STL map. So once that's done, um, it searches through uh, based on the letters that you provide the program for um, permutations, uh, which are lexicographic permutations. Um, I'm using a C++ library to do that. Um, and it searches through and looks through each map um, or well, it looks through the map for that dictionary word of that certain permutation. Um, so at this point in time, I will be implementing blanks, um, but uh, I found that it's fairly inefficient, my strategy that I have in mind right now, because of um, I'm going to have to iterate through the alphabet, alphabet with... Um, each permutation that's generated. So that's going to take up a lot of CPU time. So um, I, I'm going to see what I can do. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything, that's cool too. So um, to start off, we have uh, Scrabble Cheater here. Um, I'm going to just be using this dictionary file that's included in Unix systems. Um, and ob obviously, we're on a Unix backend on OSX. So I'm going to be using that. And then um, I'm going to provide some type of permutation of letters. Um, so within a game of Scrabble, we typically have seven tiles to start. So um, let's just make sure that we have a few permutations of, uh, or sorry, a few letters that we know that are gonna make, make up a valid word. So um, maybe like uh, Z, T, R, T, E, E. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And to finish off, maybe P. So um, obviously the word that's in there is tree. Um, so that can be our little test case to verify that everything's working properly. So um, I'm just gonna hit enter. So what it's doing now, or what it just did, <laughs> everything kind of went really fast there. Um, <clears throat> it generated all the point values for every single word in that dictionary. Okay, and then um, as we move down, lots of words in the dictionary, obviously. Then we see um, all the different permutations that are valid words. So um, depending on the dictionary provided, that'll um, provide you with the point values. Um, and the words, obviously. So uh, I don't think a, sing a single E um, is a valid word in um, Scrabble. Uh, but things like ear, erep, um, peer, pert, um, Peter is, is a, a name. Um, so obviously you would have to give a valid dictionary file, um, which is um, easily found on the internet somewhere. I'm sure you can find a, a good word list. Um, but these are just the words that were in um, slash user slash share slash dict slash words. So um, yeah, I'll uh, provide the source code. I'm gonna look for some kind of more um, efficient approaches to this, um, even though it's fairly fast with only seven letters. Um, so the troubles that I ran into were um, providing the lexicographic permutations as well as every single small word, word, word possibility. I could generate all the lexicographic permutations of seven character lengths, um, but I cannot find the smaller words within those permutations um, easily. So uh, what I did for that is iterating through each, um, each time and what that does is it provides duplicates of word searches. So in order for us not to be efficient 
or uh, sorry, inefficient. We want to be efficient. Um, I just made a list of words that have already been searched, and if they had already been searched, uh, since it was using an STL container, that it was searching through those already searched words with uh, login efficiency. Then, uh, once we provided um, that, then it would not look through the entire dictionary file itself in the map. So um, maybe I can find a better approach to that. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the program and um, owning your friends at Scrabble. <laughs> so see you later.